We know what it's like to wait at long traffic lights, even though no one's traveling the cross street. But the city's first smart signal uses AI to help keep that traffic flowing. Our Kim Rafferty helps us understand how these intersections will work differently. So we're walking up to the intersection of 26th Avenue North and Clarksville Pike. You'd think this stoplight works like every other one, but it doesn't. No longer are pedestrians going to have to push a push button. This is Nashville's first smart signal. You'll hear the walking sound. That's because NDOT's chief traffic engineer, Derek Haggerty, says that these signals actually pick up cars, buses, and people and change accordingly. No longer will people be sitting at a red light you know, as no one comes in the other direction. The smart signal is by the North Nashville Transit Center on Clarksville Pike. When I met with Derek, he showed me exactly how it works. The main approach has yellow. They have their all red time. It's clear. We have green time right now, and they have a maximum of 17 seconds. But if no one comes in the next three seconds, which no one's going to, hey, we're not going to give you that extra green time. Let's give it back to the main line. Derek says the technology doesn't read license plates or recognize faces, but it does record and store the information at Vanderbilt to study traffic patterns. It will take about seven years, but almost 600 of these lights will cover the city. Nashville will have one of the largest smart signal systems. Tony Laster walks this intersection almost every day. I think it's better if, 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 if the drivers pay attention to it. He says last year, before the city installed the smart lights, I wouldn't walk out across the street if it wasn't red. A car hit him at the intersection. The people drink, they don't pay attention to the speed limit. They just drive. It's like, it's like a racetrack. City leaders say lights like these will help improve traffic across the city. In Nashville, I'm Kim Rafferty, News Channel 5. Kim, thanks. NDOT says some uh, stoplights that will be replaced are almost 80 years old.